Okay guys, uh, Kentucky now 36 wins in a row. A very nice win against Cincinnati. Very, a very physical, a very dirty team. Uh, I don't know why teams think they have to play us like this. I really don't understand it. It don't make no sense. It, it doesn't work. I mean, we're bigger, we're stronger, we're better. You play physical, what's going to happen? You know, Ellis, I don't know what that guy's problem is. Ellis, I just don't know. I think that team may be, uh, I think he just rubs off on that team and makes them even worse. I don't know what to think about it. But the thing that stood out to me this game against Cincinnati was, of course, the physical play of Cincinnati. But what, what, what stood out the most to me with Kentucky is Devin Booker continues to struggle. He had a bunch of open shots. If he could have made two or three of those open shots, it would have been a different game. We would have won by even more, of course, instead of 13. But uh, still, he's struggling right now. Hopefully he can get his shot together when we play uh, West Virginia. And I know uh, some people are thinking that, you know, West Virginia has the blueprint to beat Kentucky. They're going to turn Kentucky over, and they're going to put pressure on us, make us make mistakes. They're going to get easy runouts, all this stuff. I mean, let's be honest, people. I think the guy, was the CBS guy, I forgot his name. I forgot his name, but he was making up all this stuff. He's like, West Virginia has the blueprint to beat Kentucky. Looks like every team's had the blueprint so far, and it's 36 wins in a row. Let's be, let's be honest, West Virginia has no shot this game. Let's just let's just tell it like it is. LSU's beat West Virginia. Texas has beat West Virginia. Baylor's beat West Virginia. That, and we beat, of course, LSU and Texas easily. So I don't know how they we're not, and I don't I don't see how they say the Harrison twins can't dribble the ball. I think it's that, it was Doug Gottaby, I think. Is that who it was? Doug Gottlieb? Or whoever it was, I don't know his name. But he was saying that, and he was saying that Harrison Twins can't dribble the ball. He was saying the pressure, we would, they would turn us over, they would have 20 plus turnovers or whatever to all this shit. Don't they realize that Tyler Ulyss and Andrew Harrison are two of the best point guards in the country? They're not going to have... They may turn the ball over two or three times, but it's not going to be this 20 plus times or whatever. They're not going to get all these free baskets. You don't think Cal knows what West Virginia is going to do? And West Virginia, they're going to play physical against Kentucky and beat them up. How's that work so far against everybody else we played? So everybody, everybody trying to build this West Virginia team up as being a game. Barkley said it best. He made it simple, sweet. He said Kentucky is going to blow them out. And that's exactly what's going to happen. I'm not a bit worried about West Virginia. It's like I said, the real games ain't going to start until we get in the Elite Eight. That's when, that's when the real games will start if it plays out the way I think it will. So we'll have to see about that, of course. But anyway, uh, Kentucky and West Virginia, it's not going to be a game. They have you believing it's going to be a close game. It may be... Uh, it's going to be a 10 plus point win, whatever. It may be 15 or something like that. But don't let people, don't let the media make you think that West Virginia has a shot this game. Of course, they have a shot, I guess you could say, but they're making it like they've got like a 90% chance of beating Kentucky or something. Some, some people are. Some people are. Some people just tell it like it is too big, too strong, too fast. So, I mean, let's look at it at this point of view. Look at it from this point of view. Too. If Kentucky can't dribble the ball and all this stuff, how did we beat Louisville last year? How did we beat uh, Louisville again this year? You know how they play physical and all that pressing and all that shit. How do we, you know if, if we couldn't dribble the ball, we would have had a thousand turnovers those two games. So I don't understand. And now we got Tyler Ulyss, one of the best point guards in the country, who's a backup. To another one of the best point guards in the country, Andrew Harrison. And Aaron Harrison can handle the ball and so can Booker. So the press will not work. Let West Virginia try it all they want. We're gonna blow those asses, we're gonna blow that those asses out. <laughs> blow those asses out. <laughs> we're gonna beat that team. I guess that's the best way to put it. Blow those asses out. That's a good one there. Sounds like corn.
But anyway, Kentucky and West Virginia, don't let the media have you thinking that we're gonna, we got a chance of getting beat because I'm not worried about West Virginia, not a bit. I'm, I, I think Cincinnati actually is gonna gave us a better game than uh, West Virginia's going to. That's the way I see it. So anyway, that is what it is, guys. Kentucky will take care of Maryland, and we will continue our quest for 40 wins in a row as we head in to the Elite Eight. Isn't that something, people? The story of college basketball is still what's Kentucky doing in the tournament so far. That's all we hear. That's just great. It's great news. It's great to see how, how much respect we're getting, how much people hate us. It's just amazing. And of course, let's talk about about uh, about the Cincinnati game. Those announcers, dude, those announcers were flat out. They were so excited when Cincinnati scored. And then when Kentucky scored, all you heard was crickets. That's it. But when, when they scored, it was like, whoa, look at Cincinnati. Yes. I mean, can you be any more obvious? Can you be any more obvious that you hate the greatest college basketball program of all time? It's unbelievable. The hate we are getting right now, it's unparalleled. It's an amazing feeling. I enjoy it. I enjoy getting hate, all this hate, and then we continue to dominate and win. It's great. It's great. It's always funner being the villain, even though you're not really the villain when people make you out to be the villain. It's always more fun. You know, the good guys are born, but the evil guys are the exciting ones, I guess you could say. So the media has us as being evil. But we really are, we really are Superman. That, that's a good analogy. So anyway, that's enough of this, guys. Look forward to Kentucky taking care of West Virginia in the Sweet 16. Kentucky 74, West Virginia 58. Like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, go Big Blue. Yeah.